Hey, what's up guys? Winston here and we have Wing and today we have three keyboards from Logitech and they're the G512. Yeah, so three keyboards actually all the same apart from the switches. Yes. So I've here the first one is the GX Blue tactile switches with the uh, clicky. Very things. clicky. I think our gamers will mostly go for that. All right, maybe. next. This one is the Roma G Linear. Linear. It's a bit quieter. A little slight click on there. Slight kick, no, okay. no, little, only a little bit. And then this one is probably the quietest one a lot. Is the Roma G Tactile. It's like a more like a thud. Yeah, more like a thud. Yeah, more like a thud. Okay, I like this. Cool. Yep. Right, let's talk about the design. Exactly yep. the same keyboard with the aluminium top here. Um, very nice. Uh, okay, weight. You think? I, uh, it needs. Uh, I've always found gaming keyboard needs to be a certain weight, otherwise you're going to slide around the table. So this is marketed as a gaming keyboard, right? Yes, yes, it's a gaming keyboard. All right, with uh, 60 million colors, RGB. Yeah. Okay. Uh, brushed aluminium, al ma aluminium, alloy. magnesium alloy. Alloy. Very nice. Uh, tough covering. Okay. Yes. Uh, braided cables, nice thick braided, uh, braided cables, about two meters length. Two meters length, yep. yeah. Very long cables. And it has a pass through, USB pass through, so you can actually plug in your accessories and, and whatnot. Yes. All right, okay, let's talk about this uh, GX Blue. Uh, first of all, uh, the switches, you can see right there, it's the uh, blue switch, and it has very uh, nice clicky. It's the traditional noise. crosshair. Yeah, traditional, it has the uh, traditional crosshair uh, blue. Crosshead, crosshair. Crosshair, yeah, okay. Crosshair. Cross <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and you notice the uh, keys, the lettering are actually on the keys on the top layer of the keycaps. Uh, that's because the uh, LEDs uh, on the uh, keycaps is, uh, the switch is actually on the top. You can see that right there. This is more of a traditional layout. It's a traditional layout. <laughs> yeah. yeah, All right. I guess so. so Go on to moving on to the... Uh, the Roma, Roma G, G Tactile, which is less of a traditional layout once I pull the K-cap off. So you can see it's um like a like a square. Yeah, the in LED's the, in the center, yeah, it's right? right in the center. So there's nothing on the edge here. It's just here. So the keycaps, have you noticed then, uh, the transparent bit. Yep, the transparent bit is actually in the center. So, so then the light illuminates out of it. So you can see it, if, like, say, on the F1, F2. You know, and the lettering is actually centered yep. on the keycaps. I actually like so, lettering on this. Like this. I, I like this style. I like the uh, traditional. That's uh, just because I'm used to this kind of. Uh, I'm an old timer. Okay. Old oh, fart. Old yeah. fart. And so and this is the Roma G Linear, which so, is similar. Similar, yeah. You got you got that square boxy. Was well, actually the key. same, isn't it? Uh, I think mine's whiter. This was grayer. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was about Other it. Than the plastic color. Yeah, the plastic color. Else. I think that's how they define the two. Um, so, yeah, the keycaps itself are the lettering are centered again to help illuminate through the keycap. Yep. So, then what, what are you going to see on the edges of your one, Winston? The, the advantage of having a center LED is you can see the sides. Yeah. Oh, yes. So, you can see the uh, the each key has a separate, another layer of uh, function, and you can see. Uh, on the uh, Roma G uh, keys, yeah, yeah. that they're actually there, whereas uh, my one uh, don't. It, they just <laughs> don't. <laughs> it's bugger all. Let me let me close that lid. Yeah. Can you see it? There's there's nothing along here. You see the extra function keys. You can, you can see the the markings here. Yeah, but there's no illumination on there because uh, the LED is actually on the top of the switch, lighting up the top of the. Uh, uh, lettering on the keycaps. Notice uh, the LED also bleeds on the top here, which is nice. I like this effect, whereas I don't, because like, I I tend to game with my lights off most of the time in the dark, and if it's like that, then it's gonna be really, really, really glary for me. I, I like this one though, to be honest with you. Less clicky because I don't like the too uh, loud on the on the switches. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the other funky feature, which. Uh, uh, nobody knows about and that is this <laughs> the thing notch. here yeah. the notch so uh, if you guys know what this is leave a comment below and uh, tell us what it is yeah because we haven't a clue we've searched the internet people making things up like a sandwich holder and or, phone holders and uh, optical uh, logitech future accessories mm. i'll just like screw it in uh, but and we actually did some homework and went to logitech's website and we can't find it where it is 
Mm. So can Logitech or anyone tell us what it is? Oh, there's one thing I want to ask you. Um, so you program this buttons and all sorts of yes. light, light, uh, lettering and everything. Yep. So what happens if you unplug the USB and power plug it back in? Will, will these uh, profiles stay? In yes, yes. Uh, it, it's all got done through Logitech software called LightSync. Yep. So all their RGB products and accessories, all uh, not just the lighting, even all their programming, like the soft, uh, like shortcuts, yeah. uh, everything, it's all done by one piece of software called LightSync, and so you can see these profiles are automatically saved on there. Oh uh, yeah, and it's Mac compatible. Yeah, it's actually on a Mac. Mac compatible. So yeah. actually works with a Mac. <laughs> yep. So what we've done is uh, I've actually got my keyboard plowed in into the MacBook, yep. and uh, his um, keyboard through. is going through my pass through. So it's actually powering the both keyboards up, and also on the software, it has the two different keyboards. Yes, so uh, once w w before you plug in anything, that after you download the software, it doesn't recognize that obviously nothing's plugged in. So there's no accessory in the profile. As soon as you plug it in, it recognizes it and downloads it from the internet. Ah. And then through, with, with the pass-through, it's actually recognized two keyboards, so we can program it separately. And what I like about this, this program is that you can actually the way it's pr you customize each key, you can actually click on the picture of the oh. key. Oh, it, oh, right, click on the yeah. individual so if keys. I, if I say Q, if I say Q, is that Q? Yep. It's gone. Oh, W. It's oh. gone, you know, it's lit up. And if I go with Q, so you press Q. You spelled something out on the keyboard. Then, Woo! Didn't you? Oh, like QWERTY. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you spelled out Winston on your keyboard? Uh, well, actually, Q my. W -E -R. my oh, but yeah, my, yeah. My, uh, my Winston <laughs> is keys are not actually. Uh, Placed correctly, so uh, yeah, yeah. See, that's what we did earlier on all three keyboards. God so. damn it! I have to put the keycaps back afterwards. You know that. <laughs> all right. There's one thing I. Uh, it's just a feature I wanted, but I don't think it's there. Uh, it's the uh, Logitech G logo. Where's the illumination on that? Come on. I, I don't like it. I like this minimalistic look, without the extra bezel top with media keys and phone holders and whatnot. Nice and thin on around the edges. Perfect for me. All right, so how much are these retailing for? I have no idea. They're about 100 US though, right? I think they're all about 80 to 100. Because the, the more expensive one is the G513. Uh, this is the newer one, the V512, so I'm guessing it's slightly cheaper. All right, okay, available on the market right now. You can get it. And uh, yeah, thanks Logitech for uh, providing the samples. This is the uh, G512, uh, the GX Blue switches, and then the Roma G Tactile, Tactile and the uh, Linear. Thanks for watching.